Okay, so Ichigo, Evo. Boom. Not bad. Hey, let's go. What up, people? So, what we're going to be doing is we're going to basically show you Ichigo on the left and Ichigo on the right. They're both going to have different skill trees. One of the skill tree for the one on the left is going to be what people are telling me to do. They're saying it's so much better because uh, you want them to have at least 10.1 SPA so that he could use his black flames every time he hits. So, boom, boom, boom. Yeah, this is the one that everyone's saying to do. So now you're going to get a 10.1 SPA, seconds per attack. That's how fast he attacks. And this is the one I usually go for. This is going to go below seconds per attack. But you could also basically uh, use any skill tree if you have, let's say, a soul that brings it below 10.1. But for this, we're not using a soul. And uh, yeah, look at the stats. There you go. There's not too much difference in between both stats. Uh... I don't find S plus and triple S to be that big of a margin. So we're going to basically also monitor who gets the most kills. And uh, yeah, not like it's, we're going to see if it's a big margin. I don't think it's going to be that big of a difference though. We're doing soul society, nightmare, infinite for both of them. We're going to each put them in a separate uh, infinite. All right, so we're just going to farm units. We're going to do a showcase as well. If you guys like this video and you want to see more videos like this, let me know. We're also going to show a VFX at the same time. He's one of the easiest uh, glitches to get. If you guys want to see a video on that, uh, you could click a video on how to get him. You could click the video up uh, in the top corner on the info card. Yep. So disable ability VFX, that just means when someone actually uh, summons the thing. Like they click uh, the ability and then if there's something plays like the Sunjin Wu, or the meteorite from Sedoma, that doesn't really have to do with anything. What we want to click is unit VFX. There we go. So we're just going to upgrade him. It's spiky. He does a little spike thing. That's cool. He also buffs units. As you can see, he's buffing uh, this money unit. His passive does plus 10% damage and plus 5% damage, uh, crit chance for all units in range. Uh, it's not showing the attack on him because he's not an attacking unit. So he has no way to show that. If we'll place a Rukia next to the dude just to show exactly what's up later. But yeah, he's very good. It doesn't uh, combine with uh, Yuha, the other Bleach character. That's the, yeah. Blue Sword dude. Quincy King. If you have him and this uh, unit at the same time, you're not going to get a plus 20% damage buff. I think it should be a plus 20% though. It doesn't really make sense why two units can't buff. His is 10 and this one's 10. They should both buff. It should stack because they're different units. Kind of weird that it doesn't. I mean, then again, no, but it's different units. Yeah, two Oshis don't stack. That makes sense. But like, 
if I had Oshi and I had a different one that increased range, I'd expect the range to get increased for uh, both. You know? But yeah, there you go. That's his passive. That's always active as soon as you put him down. And here's the Rukia. We're going to go full screen and show you his uh, final damage as well. His final damage is good, but just realize that the Black Flames are on a 10 second tick. People are saying 10.1 second tick. So that means that it's not attacking. That's overall 10 seconds. That's how much damage it's doing. Now, I don't know why it says 200 something damage when it goes up there. I want that damage, but it only goes to 173. That was kind of racist. Maybe it's just a bug. It hurts, though. There you go. 10.1 seconds, exactly what we were trying to get. Okay, so we just, we had 510, and it just added money. That was like, I don't know, 200. So he uses quite a bit of money. I would say he uses like 700K in total to max out. But he's really good on placement, you know? His, his buff basically buffs the first five rounds, and that's cool and all, you know? If you load in before that. Sometimes I'd be loading round six, so he's kind of useless if you <laughs> if you load in late. I think it should be buffed to like 15 rounds. I feel like that would make a lot of sense. The first 15 rounds, he buffs it by 50%. It's kind of silly that it's only, uh, yeah, it's only five rounds, like... Yeah. High cost, you don't even get to place units before then. I swear, it's round five when you get to place units for high cost. Okay, so we're going to cut All back. Right. So they're starting to struggle around the same time. Damn, I cut myself off. I'll let him take the lead. Yeah, I think they're cooked. As soon as they start facing the wrong way, it's done. That's line AOE for you. So basically, it makes no difference. That's what I'm going to say. They're both going to die because of the boss. He's right there. Unless they kill him really quick. Oh, actually. This side might be better. We'll see. This one should die first because it started. It was a little ahead. But if they both die on the boss, then yeah. This one got a little bit more kills, though. But basically, it's the same. Just do whatever. Once you have a good passive on him, you're kind of just chilling. All right, so that's it for the video. Hope you guys enjoyed that. That was a comparison between the skill tree people were saying to take and the skill tree I took that I usually put on every character. All right, that's about it. Peace.